Imagine training a complex AI model in a fraction of the time it currently takes. A new tool, poised to redefine the landscape of machine learning, promises to do just that. With a staggering 10,000x speedup in training, this breakthrough could accelerate AI development across various industries, from healthcare to autonomous vehicles. Let's delve into the details of this groundbreaking technology and explore its potential to reshape the future of artificial intelligence. Nous Research Distro. The Nous Research team, known for developing personalized and unrestricted AI models, has announced a significant breakthrough called Distro, which stands for Distributed Training Over the Internet. Distro is a new optimizer designed to make AI training more efficient by reducing the amount of data that needs to be transferred between different graphics processing units during each step of training an AI model. This is a big deal because training large AI models typically requires a massive amount of computational power and data exchange, usually only possible within big tech companies with huge resources and dedicated high-speed infrastructure. With the introduction of Distro, Nous Research is changing the game. This optimizer allows powerful AI models to be trained outside of large companies and institutions, across the open internet using regular consumer-grade internet connections. This means that individuals, small groups, or institutions from around the world could potentially collaborate to train AI models, pooling their resources without needing expensive centralized data centers. The democratization of AI training capabilities opens up new opportunities for innovation and development, as smaller organizations and independent researchers can now participate in cutting-edge AI research that was previously out of reach due to technical and financial constraints. The effectiveness of Distro has already been proven through tests detailed in a technical paper by Nous Research. In these tests, Distro achieved an 857-fold increase in efficiency compared to a popular existing training algorithm known as All Reduce. All Reduce is widely used in distributed computing and machine learning to synchronize data across different GPUs, but it involves substantial data transfer, which can slow down the training process and require high bandwidth. In contrast, Distro greatly reduces the amount of information that needs to be transmitted during each step of training from 74.4 gigabytes to just 86.8 megabytes without significantly impacting the model's overall performance. This is a remarkable improvement that highlights the potential of Distro to make distributed AI training more accessible and feasible. The dramatic reduction in data transmission requirements with Distro addresses one of the biggest problems in AI training, communication overhead. When training AI models across multiple GPUs or devices, a lot of time and resources are spent ensuring that all the devices stay in sync by constantly exchanging large amounts of data. This is especially challenging over standard internet connections, which are not as fast or stable as the dedicated high-speed networks used in big tech companies' data centers. Distro solves this problem by optimizing how data is shared between GPUs, significantly cutting down the communication overhead and making the process much more efficient. The benefits of Distro are enormous. First, it allows for more decentralized and democratized AI research and development. Instead of relying on a few large companies with extensive resources, researchers worldwide can collaborate, sharing their computing power to tackle complex AI challenges. This could lead to a more diverse range of AI models and applications, as different perspectives and expertise come into play. Additionally, with more people having the capability to train large AI models, there could be faster advancements in various fields like natural language processing, computer vision, and robotics. Furthermore, Distro could enable faster development of AI models for niche applications that big companies might overlook. For example, researchers or organizations focused on specific scientific or social issues could train AI models tailored to their unique needs without the high costs associated with centralized AI training. This could lead to breakthroughs in areas such as personalized medicine, environmental monitoring, and educational tools, where AI models need to be specialized and adapted to specific contexts. Distro's reduced data transfer requirements also make it more sustainable and environmentally friendly. Traditional AI training consumes a tremendous amount of energy especially when it involves moving large amounts of data across data centers. 
By minimizing the data that needs to be transmitted, Distro can significantly lower the energy consumption and carbon footprint of AI training, contributing to greener AI practices. Distro approach to training. Distro, or distributed training over the internet, takes a unique approach to training AI models by changing how data is shared between multiple GPUs. Traditional methods for training AI models require all the GPUs involved to frequently share large amounts of information, specifically gradients, which are crucial for adjusting the model as it learns. This process needs very fast and stable internet connections with high bandwidth to synchronize the data properly. However, Distro dramatically reduces the amount of data that needs to be exchanged by four to five orders of magnitude. This means that the amount of data shared is reduced by a factor of between 10,000 and 100,000 times, which is a huge improvement. What makes Distro special is that it allows powerful AI models to be trained over much slower internet connections than what was previously possible. Traditional AI training methods demand extremely high bandwidth, but Distro's reduced communication needs make it possible to train large-scale models over consumer-grade internet connections. For example, it can work with internet speeds as low as 100 megabits per second download and 10 megabits per second upload. These speeds are commonly available in many households around the world, making advanced AI training more accessible to smaller research teams, independent developers, and institutions that may not have access to the high-speed networks used by major tech companies. While the authors of the distro paper have not yet fully explained how their algorithm manages to reduce the amount of data transmitted during each step of the training process, while still keeping the overall performance of the AI model intact, they plan to release more details soon. What we do know is that this reduction in data transmission was achieved without relying on amortized analysis, a method used to spread costs over time, or compromising the convergence rate, which refers to how quickly the AI model learns to improve its accuracy. Essentially, Distro maintains the effectiveness of the training process while cutting down on the data that needs to be sent back and forth, which is a significant achievement. The researchers tested Distro using the MetaLlama 2, which is a large language model architecture with 1.2 billion parameters. Parameters in AI are like the model's knobs that get adjusted during training to make better predictions. Despite using significantly less data transmission, Distro achieved training performance that was comparable to conventional methods. However, the MetaLlama 2 with 1.2 billion parameters is the smallest model size that worked well with Distro. The researchers mentioned that they are not yet sure whether this reduction in bandwidth scales up, down, or stays the same as the size of the model increases. This means they are still exploring how well Distro works with both smaller and larger models. Preliminary tests suggest that Distro could achieve a reduction in bandwidth requirements of up to 1,000 to 3,000 times during the pre-training phase of large language models. Pre-training is the stage where the AI model learns general patterns from vast amounts of data before being fine-tuned for specific tasks. For the post-training and fine-tuning phases where the model is specialized for a particular application, Distro could reduce bandwidth needs by up to 10,000 times without any noticeable loss in performance. This is a massive improvement that could drastically lower the barriers to training large AI models making it feasible for smaller players to compete with larger tech giants. Furthermore, the authors believe that the distro method, although initially tested on large language models, could also be applied to train large diffusion models. Diffusion models are a type of AI used for generating images, and they power popular open source tools like Stable Diffusion and services like Midjourney. If distro proves effective for training these models as well, it could significantly impact the field of AI-powered image generation by making it easier and more cost-effective to train these models, even over standard internet connections. Distro still uses GPUs for AI training, but instead of needing them all in one place, they can be spread out across the world and use regular internet connections. It was tested with 32 H100 GPUs, each loaded with a copy of the model. The tests showed that Distro can perform as well as traditional methods like AtomW plus All Reduce, but with much less data transfer between GPUs. This makes it possible to train large AI models efficiently across different locations, even with normal internet speeds. Implication of Distro 
The Distro Optimizer has the potential to change how we train large AI models by making the process more efficient and less dependent on centralized, powerful data centers. This could have several important implications for different applications, such as federated learning and decentralized training. Federated learning is a method where multiple computers or devices work together to train an AI model without sharing their actual data with a central server. This approach is often used in situations where privacy is important, like training AI on personal devices such as smartphones. Instead of sending all the data to a central server, each device updates the model with its own data locally and only shares the changes, not the raw data. Distro could make federated learning more efficient by reducing the amount of data that needs to be shared between devices, which could lead to faster training times and lower communication costs. This would make it easier to train models in a way that respects users' privacy and doesn't require extremely fast internet connections. Decentralized training is another approach where AI models are trained using many different computing resources that are spread out across various locations. Instead of relying on a single, large, and expensive data center, decentralized training can use a network of smaller, more accessible computers, including those owned by individuals, companies, or institutions around the world. With Distro's ability to significantly cut down on the amount of data that needs to be transmitted between computers, decentralized training could become much more practical and widespread. This could lead to new collaborative approaches to AI development, where many different parties work together to build powerful models without needing to pool all their data or computing power in one place. Another major benefit of Distro's efficiency is its potential to reduce the environmental impact of training AI models. Training large AI models requires enormous amounts of computing power, which in turn consumes a lot of electricity. This often results in a substantial carbon footprint, especially when models are trained in massive data centers that require not just computing power, but also cooling systems to prevent overheating. Through optimizing the use of existing infrastructure and reducing the need for these massive data centers, Distro could help make AI training more environmentally friendly. If more models can be trained efficiently on smaller, more distributed systems, the energy consumption associated with AI could be significantly reduced. The innovations brought by Distro could also lead to a major shift in how we think about training large-scale AI models. Currently, most large models are trained in centralized, resource-heavy data centers owned by big tech companies. These centers are costly to build and maintain and are often located in places with access to cheap electricity. However, with Distro's ability to reduce communication overhead and work with slower internet connections, there is potential for moving away from these centralized hubs. Instead, training could become more distributed, relying on diverse and geographically spread out computing resources. This would mean that more people, companies, and institutions worldwide could participate in AI development without needing the massive resources that are currently required. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.